obviously you don't know what to expect when you arrive at the airport, but there's so many fans at the airport and they gave me a great welcome. DC showed interest in me and I always remember it was being a nice city and it was something different, a new challenge. Can't you see, don't you know what I am? I'm a man with a plan and it's time you understand that. your first official game with DC United, which is also the home opening of Audi Field. With new teammates, you've got a new jersey on your back. How's that feeling for you? Obviously a strange feeling. Obviously my first game was the opening of the stadium of Audi Field. And it was an exciting day for the club and it was great to be a part of and to come on and help the team get three points and, and get the victory it was, it was great. So no, it was a special night, not only for myself, but I think for the club also. Wayne Rooney comes on in the 58th minute. More history in D.C. How are you able to adjust to a team so effortlessly? Because you can see it when you're looking at how you're celebrating with your new teammates. You have to adjust and I think obviously communication with your teammates is important. And um, So obviously the first thing I had to do really was obviously learn everyone's name and um, get to know everyone um, both on and off the field. And um, I felt um, I'd done that quite quickly. Did you come in immediately and become a leader or did that take a little bit of time to become that leader in the locker room? No, I think I've, before that for, for many years I was captain of, of clubs in, in my country so um, I think that naturally was part of, of who I am and part of my game so um, that was an easy part for me to really um, to do and um, to try and help the team. Your first goal for DC United didn't take too long, do you remember the first goal? Yeah, I think um, it was the first one to turn out. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it was. That's good hustle by United now. Acosta by the Rooney. Here comes Rooney. Rooney. Oh, it's in the net. It's in the net. It's in the net. Wayne Rooney. How was that for you, scoring against your former teammate? Yeah, it was great. And it was really a good pass from Luciano. And to score my first goal against my former teammates. It was nice also, but no, it's always nice to get your first goal and, and get up and running and, and get off the mark really so no, it, was, it was a nice feeling. Did you ever say anything uh, to Tim after that? Um, briefly I spoke to him after the game yeah, and yeah, scored many goals past him in training and <laughs> scored a few past him um, when he was in goal for Everton yeah. as well so um, no, it's, it's nice to score and you can try and have a bit of banter with your former teammate after the game. The trifecta at DC United, the 3 0 lead. Your first hat trick for DC United came this year. When you have a game like that, before the game starts in the locker room, does it feel a little bit different for you, or does it just kind of happen during the game where you just have a good game? Yeah, it just happens, and I think it depends on obviously um, on different things, on how the team play. Obviously, you need the team to play well as a as a forward player. You need your teammates to play well and, and provide chances and opportunities for you and, and then you just have to have to try and take them really so no it's it's always a special moment again to score a hat trick to score three goals um, I think whenever you're on two goals you're always thinking can you get the third one and get a hat trick so um, thankfully um, Junior put a, a a great pass into my my path and I couldn't miss really. Before I even start it I'd say that these are your top three moments at DC United, and they all came against Orlando. What the heck do you have against them? Um, no, no, I think um, it's just coincidence, really, and um, the three big moments I had really was against them, so it's just a coincidence. Pinballs to Rooney. Rooney sees roll out. Oh, it's in the net. About freaking time that this happened, right? Because you did it in past two teams. Yeah. Were you looking to make this moment happen, or just happen? Yeah, it happens, and you need a few things to, to go right for you. You need the ball to fall nicely, or to get a first touch out your feet, wherever it is. And um, I seen the goalkeeper a few minutes before that, and I realised he was quite high out of his goal. And um, so I, I knew in the back of my mind, if the ball fell nicely, the roughly where the goalkeeper would be, and um, there was an opportunity for me to, to go for goal. And, it felt perfect and 
Um, I caught it perfect, so um, it's always nice to score goals like that and I think they're goals which people remember. This next one at Orlando this year, were you aiming for it to go in? Yeah, I think from this position um, I always try and hit the goal and um, make it awkward for the goalkeeper. If, uh, if I don't quite catch it as well as I want to, then one of your teammates can get across the keeper and maybe um, get a header you know, or whatever. But, yeah, I always um, go for goal. We can't talk about you and DC United and not talk about the tackle. Wayne Rooney, that net is empty. Big collision by the captain. That is unbelievable effort. Rooney putting one up. Acosta. Header. Goal. Hat trick. Acosta. That's all you have to know, though, about Wayne Rooney when you saw him chase. He was the last man back. There was no one else near it. But that play he just made at the end of the game is what they're going to be talking about, as they should. Yeah, no, I think this was an important moment for the team, really. I think it was a big moment. We had to win this game. Um, we were obviously in the playoff push. And we had to win it. And um, First of all, I don't know why our goalkeeper was, was up there <laughs> at 2-2. Yeah, once the ball broke out, I knew I had to, to try and get to the player, but I had to make a tackle. I couldn't. In them, if your goalkeeper's in the goal, you can try and delay the play and let your teammates get back. But um, I had to try and make the tackle, and thankfully I did. And, um, and the ball stayed in play, um, which allowed me to, to get the ball across to Luciano to, to score his hat trick. So I think that was a, a great moment for, for the club, and that gave us a lot of confidence to go and make the playoff. How did you get along with everyone? Yeah, no, I think I'm the type of person who, who gets on with, with, with everyone really. Um, obviously when, when we're training or playing I want to work and be quite demanding at times but you know, as, as a teammate um, I try and become friends with everyone and um, you know, I think it's important that you, you do that for myself but also for my teammates. I know it can be quite intimidating to have um, someone come over who's, We've played in, you know, um, be the biggest league in the world. It can be quite intimidating for some players, but I try and, um, you know, make them feel comfortable also. How do you get the team to get behind you, and how do you get the fans to get behind the team? How do you do that? I think for fans, could be honest, what fans want to see. They want to see people working. I think that's always, that should be the first priority for any player, is to work hard. and. Um, secondly, um, do you want to be entertained? So um, if you can do that, then the fans will come and watch you and support you. You're definitely about the entertainment, right? Do you think so? Yeah, no, I think um, a lot of games we, we have entertained and other games sometimes when you know, you're maybe not playing as well as you can, you have to try and dig in and, and grind out results, so I feel like we've, we've done both. I've enjoyed my time here, it's been something completely different um, to what I've been used to. Um, obviously, being from Liverpool, living in Manchester, it's, it's 40 minutes away um, from, from where all my family is, so um, I've always had the opportunity to, to go and see my family or my family come up to me and so to come here and, and not have that round is something completely different to what I'm used to and I think that's why it was so important. I have to obviously have friends here and you know people you can go for food with or you can go out with whatever and spend time going to play golf whatever, with people and, and that's something I've enjoyed um, but not my time here is, I feel has been good. What are you most proud of here at DC United? Um, yeah, it's a loaded question. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I think probably last season being in the position we was in and 
and then to, to go on a run, an unbelievable run to, to actually make the playoffs and finish in fourth place. Um, I think if we were being honest, it was probably something which the fans and the players didn't believe um, could happen in, in last season. So, um, and it brought a lot of excitement um, to the city in terms of people wanting to come to the games and people coming and joining it and we were, we were giving value for the, the money we were spending to watch it. <laughs> just hope that when people look back they could see that I was someone who, who worked hard and tried to, to win for the team and hopefully the team can kick on um, from having me here and, and continue to move forward and, and be successful in the next um, couple of years. I think uh, it'd be great for the fans um, to see that, but also for, for the players in the locker room, it'd be great for them also.